don't ever get used to it. This is just crazy. <laughs> This bike will never get old. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. <laughs> back with another video. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. I need some food and water. Uh, I went and picked up the M1000 single art today. It was unlocked, so we did the first ride, and I was kind of like very hype about that and all that. <laughs> I wasted all my energy on that video. So now we're taking the fire blade to fix a little minor thing, but figured I'd film because why not? I film almost pretty much every time I ride. Sometimes I take a little bit longer until I start the video and just so I can enjoy my ride a little bit. I think I've talked about it before where, you know, I've been filming like as soon as I start riding and kind of becoming to feel like work. So sometimes I just, you know, go on a little ride, enjoy myself, and then I click record and start filming for you guys. But man, since I've been riding the Super Duke and the M1000 Single R, uh, those are like full-on like naked bikes. The Rush was, it had like clip-ons uh, like this. It didn't have like a straight bar like the other ones. So it still uh, felt a little bit more on the Super Sport side. Not this bike though. This bike feels like very, very aggressive. I think this is my most aggressive seating position of all my bikes. You're just sitting super high up. The seat is extremely stiff and uh, the handlebars are really low. This is like a full-on race bike and that's given my new Bonamici rear sets that I installed which we have put in like the most comfortable setting pretty much you can. You know, we lowered it the most and we moved it to the front a little bit. So even though it's put on a more comfortable setting, this bike still feels insanely aggressive. Uh, but that's, I feel like that's part of the bike, you know, the whole bike is aggressive. The power on it is very uh, strong and aggressive. It's a little smooth in the start, like right here. It's nice because it's not jerky, like you can see. But once it's going, it's going. And, you know, it sounds aggressive, so I think it fits it. It's kind of interesting because I always talk good about BMW's technology and all that stuff, but honestly, going from the M1000 Single R to this, the auto blipper quick shifter on this thing is insane. It's so, like, fast and sensitive, but also now that I'm thinking about this bike, it's tuned by Brent Tuning, so, you know, they do adjust all the timing of that stuff and uh, things like that to make it, like, you know, shift faster and stuff like that. So maybe they have adjusted that on this bike. But it's so nice, as soon as I tap it, like it shifts and it's so seamless. Yeah, sorry to disappoint all my hyper naked uh, fans out there, but I think super sports are the thing for me. As much as I like the hyper nakeds and everything, these bikes just feel different when I'm in here. I feel like I'm on a fighter jet, you know what I mean? Like, the hyper nakeds are fun. They remind me more of like, you know, a bicycle that is fast, you know, you can go around and cruise and all that and have a good time. But with this, these bikes, I just feel like, you know, I'm ready for war. <laughs> I just love the way they sit and the way I feel like on the black. I'm also, you know, the most comfortable in this. Five years of riding these super sports over the naked, which I just started on. I feel like the rush, as I said, doesn't even like fully count as a full naked bike. Turn radius isn't the best on these. But <laughs> it's definitely a little trippy now that I'm getting more to used to the naked bikes. Since I've put like so many hundred miles on the past couple of days. But look at this beauty. I love this bike. This bike is so loud. <laughs> I need earplugs. I'm gonna ask them actually if they have some earplugs over here. How oh, loud? Wow, the bull didn't come out. So yeah, so, yeah, you guys see how 
you know, we tried to uh, get our rig it over here because one of the sides broke into the subframe and we took out the spacer whatnot and tried to kind of just use a, a larger size uh, bowl and as you can see it's a little bit loose it's better now actually I feel like the first time I tried it, it was completely off uh, so we just bought the proper spacers and all that gonna fix that and plus I wanted to ride a little bit more with the new rear sets as you guys see it's all the way down all the way to the front so you know it's more on the comfier setting but still I think like between here and here is such a small distance I think if you're a smaller rider this bike would feel fit you a lot better but for a taller rider than me I just feel like I'm very high like you know the seat is really high in comparison to the tank so you're sitting really high up again it's I think it's part of the bike and how aggressive this bike is and I think honestly it's a piece of art it's such a pretty bike and I was like very happy uh, when I got it. I got it because it looks amazing and then when I rode it and saw how like not only fast but aggressive and sounds and everything it totally blew my mind so I absolutely love the Fireblade I can understand why a lot of you guys actually say that this is your favorite bike so yeah we're gonna get that little, uh, thing a little fixed they have the spacers over here so I'm just gonna put that put the two bolts that were supposed to be there and that's pretty much it for this bike I just wanted to kind of take it out it's n getting nicer next week should be warm hopefully it doesn't drop again it keeps saying that it's like oh yeah next week is warm and then it drops again when you get closer to the date uh but yeah should fix that and the only other thing i have is like something with the idle uh yeah when i started the first time when i started like it kind of just idles down really low and it feels a little bit weird i just have to like blip it and it kind of like it brings the idle back up that's the only other issue that this bike has other than that it's pretty spot on honestly everything on it i've done a lot to it already and i feel like it looks really good now uh, i might be doing more carbon i'd like to do more carbon i just have to find you know a proper brand and stuff like that i might also now that i'm thinking about it replace those uh grips maybe get something in what do you guys think should i do red or should i do blue comment down below if i should i probably do the domino dominion whatever you want to call it uh grips that i have usually on my other bikes but I don't know if I want to do blue. It'll be too much with this. Maybe do red. I think that'll look good. Because I have a little bit of red here. I think red would look better. But comment down below. What do you guys think? Which color I should do grips on this bike. Blue or red. These grips are actually pretty pretty good. But I think a little bit of color would uh, make it look even better. Yeah definitely do red. Because I have this in blue as well. So it'll be like kind of like blue. Red. Blue. And a little bit of red red here. So I think yeah. That would look good. So i'll order me a red set and yeah we'll resume when we ride her back oh i do want to also get a little bit more carbon i definitely want to do this piece not sure i might even do the full frame cover it's you know a lot of really expensive stuff so i don't know if i want to put as much money into every single bike sometimes i'm like okay do the little touch-ups here and there at the basics and that's it but then i'm like you know my carbon action resurfaces and i'm like i want more carbon i would definitely do this piece but nobody makes it i would love to do this whole piece in carbon because it'll make it look way cooler from here this one and this one if i can do these two i would 100 percent do them but this one as well so yeah i would probably do these three pieces those are the, the three main pieces uh ideally if i have unlimited money i would do the full uh frame cover i would also do this piece this piece is pretty expensive and looks like a pain to install but i think it would be really cool as well how you doing bro good how are you so yeah <laughs> thank you all right i'll update you guys once we get going no i haven't where's it at Uh huh. So they took out all my carbon. So they took out my carbon headlight, my carbon, my carbon stuff. Whoa. And they're painting all my carbon, like custom paint on my carbon. He already started some of it, but. Yeah, that would be cool. Painted carbon is always different. Yeah, the headlight's carbon. Everything's carbon. That's gonna be sick. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. Yeah. When it's all done. He does a good job, huh? Yeah, he's not bad at all. Yeah, new generation tail. Full aero exhaust system, custom brakes, Olins in the rear, which is like the best suspension you can have. I think you have the same Olins, right? 
I don't even know, man. A lot of the bikes, I'm like, okay, if it has this, good, you know, because some of the, like, most of these bikes usually come with good stuff, so I don't mess with it too much unless I need to or, you know, want something specific, but, yeah, it'll be nicely set up. Yeah. Custom is always cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy with mine, I think. I like keeping some of sometimes I want to do custom but sometimes you bikes though you have the H2 you have this you have the R1 yeah. you have the S1000 the M1000 uh what else do you have uh I have the the, Apr the Aprilia the yeah a couple of Ducatis I don't know yeah can I take a photo of it of course go ahead man I'm gonna start it up right now oh can I put it on my story go ahead yeah get on these bikes and uh, give a little bit of gas I got adrenaline and wake up but I'm so tired today I've been burnt out bro the past few days oh let's make sure okay we're recording the past few days I think I've filmed about two videos every single day for the past almost week yeah I think one of the days also I filmed like three videos and like most of the days after that like two videos two videos every day tomorrow I got like another three videos that I got to film so you know I'm trying to pump out a lot of content for you guys you know with a lot of the stuff that I do so trying to share everything but sometimes I get really tired and burnt out because you know I gotta wake up work uh, sponsorships emails all that stuff ride and then I go home eat a little bit go work out and then uh, just you know relax for a little bit or but I mean by the time usually I'm done working out it's already like super late so then I just gotta start editing and then I go to sleep and the cycle re <laughs> restarts so sometimes you get really tired burnt out like I did not wanna oh, oh man I was saying that I did not really wanna ride again after the doing the first ride review on the M1000R well the unlocked first ride proper review I was like you know what whatever let me get the second video done uh, get this fire blade fixed it was kind of like a push rivet type of thing that has threads in it too so we just got that replaced and so now it's pretty much as good as OEM Device. That's what these super bikes make, make it feel like. But yeah, so sorry for the slight little energy for today's video. It's kind of like, you know, I'm just going to chill right, get this done, and update you guys uh, for the upcoming videos. You know, we're going to be, as I said, tuning the M1000 single R, doing some races with that, and then stock one, uh, retuning my R1M, going to get properly uh, tuned and dialed. On the dyno so that should be a fun video and hopefully my exhaust my sc exhaust should be colored and all so yeah a lot of exciting stuff coming up tomorrow tomorrow is gonna be a long day so i'm just gonna go home chill a little bit by chill i mean like still work reply to emails and voices and stuff like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video now we hit traffic so it's gonna be boring and slow if you did please drop a like and subscribe and check out my merch kgear.com i'm working on the second drop officially i don't know why i thought i heard a bike behind me i was like is there someone behind me there wasn't i do feel nicer splitting lanes on these bikes i feel like they're more slim than the naked bikes the naked bikes are a bit wider with those handlebars but yeah, I should be uh, coming up with a new drop, some like really 
high quality stuff. What the hell was that? It felt like I went over something, but I didn't see anything. So yeah, some really high quality stuff. We're doing some testing and stuff like that right now until uh, I release the drop probably maybe next month or something like that. Oh, I miss my plaid so much. This is just a Model S, but still. Seeing it makes me miss my plaid. I don't know what I was saying. My, my brain is dead, super foggy. I need me a mental break a little bit. Thank you. That's pretty much it. I was just saying to check out my uh, brand, kgear.com, as well as Superbike Rentals if you want to rent out some of my bikes, which are the V4S and the M1000 Single R, which will be available by the time this video comes out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for the support. Peace out and ride safe.